why you should buy ULIP and why you should not buy ULIP. So today's topic is much interesting. So hi, hello, this is Ganesan, your Milena coach and author of the book Money Leaks. So why you should buy, why you should not buy ULIP. So uh, if you're someone who had invested a lot and every year you are investing some lakhs of amount in ULIP policy and not sure whether it is giving generating any returns and not sure if you can close it down or uh, if you should continue, then this video is for you, right? I think so many people not getting cl clarity on whether it is a mutual fund or it is a ULIP. So because both are measured in net asset value, which is the same thing, NAV. And uh, both are measured by units. And uh, how many units you are, if you're investing uh, 1 lakh rupees, you'll be allocated some 1,000 units or something. Uh, that, that is a confusion. So terms and everything are both the same in both ULIP as well as mutual funds. So now arises a confusion like, should did I invest in mutual fund? Is it not giving returns? I think most of them, are you one of them? We're saying that I had invested in a mutual fund, but actually you had invested something in uh, ULIP policy and insurance, right? So at the present scenario, I have had a client, I have had a friend, uh, I can say, because uh, I know them for over the last four years. And uh, suddenly they just asked, like, uh, after seeing my videos, they just asked, should I invest? Uh, can you check my portfolio? I said, share it. So after checking, they were investing close to uh, almost five lakhs in some random insurance policies. So eventually, it doesn't ULIP policy, unit linked insurance policy. And they're not sure if the, if the returns are generating uh, returns, it, it, something is getting generated or not itself. And there are that is other another client. He has been asking me for the last one year, should I continue my ULIP or not? And for him, it's like it's almost a seven year old. Uh, he had invested for almost seven years back, and now his returns are almost not even four to five percent. I showed him exactly like this is how it's working, and uh, because of these many reasons, I'll say you what is that reason. But still, he's thinking a lot. Should I close it down or not? So. This video will bring in a clarity to you. Should I, should you continue with that ULIP policy? Should you continue with that insurance policy or not? Specifically ULIP and insurance. Right. So that insurance, any insurance policy, if you see, just check the, there is a five years lock-in period. And what is the insurance agent will tell you or bank relationship manager will tell you is that, sir, if you invest only for five years, it is more than, enough. then the returns will generate like anything. This standard definition I'm hearing for the last 10 years, when I am a novice in, uh, uh, when I am no, not, I don't know anything in uh, insurance or investment long back up before 10 years, at that time also they say the same thing. Now they changed a bit, that's it. So you invest for five years because lock-in period has been uh, increased uh, in the last two, three years. And then it's more than enough, then you don't need to invest, but you will get so much returns. But in the first five years, you need to understand what is the charges. First, uh, two, uh, first, most of the policies for the first two to three years, the fund allocation charges itself will be around five to eight percent. And then after fourth, fifth year, it, it will come down to five percent. And then from sixth, seventh year, it will gradually decrease to two to three percent. And then it goes down. So actually from eighth year only, the fund management charges will come down. But what happens is that this is just a portion of the charges. Apart from fund management charges, there is mortality charge. There is uh, there is mortality charge, and uh, there is something like uh, uh, so many charges. GST is there, and then uh, there is some other charges which will be there in the if you go through the policy. It's very simple. You, you can go through by yourself. So three to four charges will added up, and totally it will be around eight to nine percent minimum. I'm saying. So for the first two to three years, the charges will be minimum eight to nine percent, and from fourth to fifth year, it will be around six to seven. From uh, sixth to seventh, eighth year, it can come down to four to five percent. At the max, three to four percent, not below that. So this is the case with most of the ULIP policies which I had seen in the last three four years. Uh, I don't know if there is much lesser than that. So, so if you are invested in ULIP and uh, still thinking, should I continue? How much returns will I get it? I can surely say you won't get more than four to five percent in the first five years. You need to keep continued investing for the next ten to fifteen years. If you are investing now in the today or in, in this 2019 for tax saving purpose alone, 
keep investing for the next 10 to 15 years then only you can get close to 8 to 9 percent i have a friend who had invested for the last five years they have been investing close to three lakhs of amount for the last every year that is a premium she is paying and uh, the total invested amount is close to 14 lakhs and the returns are somewhere the fund value is somewhere around 15.5 or somewhere but the returns if we calculate it's not even four to five percent just because of fund management charges and other related charges on top of that one thing which will happen at, at the end of fifth year is that uh, because it's five years and you know how how the regulation changes how the technology changes and these top companies who runs these uh, ULIP policies who sells these ULIP policies through relationship manager they will give a call and say sir ma'am this policy is not uh, is not doing good and uh, as you are in the sixth year, we have a better policy which can give you good returns. Already had invested for five years, your cost had gone like your investment value is not even nearing four to five percent, and they won't say share that information. Just because someone is calling and genuinely trying to help you, you will also feel that this is the best advice. So you'll just go with that. So again, you are getting trapped in the again the next ULA policy in a different name. So this has been happening throughout and uh, if you are investing more than a lakh or any amount in ULIP, just think what is a fund management charge? And with respect to discontinuing, uh, five years lock in is just mandatory. And if you want to discontinue at the end of first year, second year, third year, the rates are much cheaper. If you are, it will be around uh, at the max of six, 6,000, and second, third year, it will come down to four to 5,000 and even below, right? So instead of continuing investing and just getting four to five percent for investing four to five lakhs or even more in ULIP, put your money in mutual funds or even direct stock market. Put it, forget it in a best stock market, get the best advisor, do that. Because in mutual funds, the uh, expense ratio is capped at 2.5%. And even considering the uh, taxation, which recently happened, uh, another 10%. Say your investment returns are one crore. And what you are going to invest for this 15 years is that it will be peanuts. I can say not even 2025 20, lakhs, you'll be getting one crore on one crore. Even if you pay 10% tax, it's just 10 lakhs and you'll be getting happily getting 70 to 80 lakhs for sure. Just check the previous 15, 20 years data. This is the, this is the actual results which has happened. And uh, they project 18 to 20% returns. They don't project. That is the actual thing which has happened in the last 15, 20 years, uh, last 30 years in UTI. Leave everything. Consider 12% which is a benchmark in uh, mutual funds. That itself can give you a huge returns when compared to this ULIP policy. Just think twice because it's your hard-earned money and it should be sufficient at the end of 20th year or 15th year. Don't uh, just plan. Uh, just because March is nearing, I need to invest something in a ULIP policy or somewhere and then uh, it won't be enough when you reach 45 or 50 or even 55. And when you consider kind of taking that amount for your kids' education or for your business investments, it won't be enough. So think twice, not twice, even thrice if you are not clear. Just ask the person who is asking, who is uh, uh, sharing this information or just approach a best financial advisor. It's They are like your financial doctors. Only they can suggest you a best advice and uh, who is transparent even then. So we will cover the best next video on how to why to choose a financial advisor and what are the questions to ask him so that you can be clear and even you can google it even googling it will create lots of confusion because lots of information is there so best advice is getting a person and asking them uh, some serious questions on your investments or the best next best thing to do is go with the investment uh, robo advisory which is available online platform if you are comfortable with uh, interacting with the tech using the technology and investing for yourself so see, if you have any confusions or clarity needed in uh, ULIP policy and with respect to this topic just put in your comments or message me I, i'll be happy to share my knowledge or if you want a clarity on i'd already invested and uh, what should i do now just uh, just you can share that information i'll be happy to share uh, understanding your policy so any questions, you can just reach, reach out to me. Thank you. This is once again Ganesan, your, your millionaire coach and uh, author of the book Money Leaks. And thanks for watching. Please share this video with your friends because I know that so many people are interested in YouTube and they don't know what to do. Or they just stick with it. 
just because they are the started investors. Uh, as I shared about one of the client, like even after seven years, even after knowing returns are not good, they're still sticking with it. So it's not going to be and uh, take a wise decision, at least now, after knowing all these informations. So if you need money lessons on a daily basis, on anything with respect to money and how it can bring in happiness in your life, and what are the luxurious things available across the world so that you can also aspire to be rich and wealthy and it's not wrong so just visit my page visit my page ganesanthuru.com and get subscribed to my uh, email lessons a pop-up will come you can just put in your details your name and email id and then from tomorrow you will be getting my daily money lessons thank you see you all in the next video thank you